on this episode of Black Man Unfiltered. Told me that being with him was going to be like we were in our bed after my son our oldest son was born and we were in the bed and he was he was like look babe we have a mission for the for the world and people are going to look to us as the example and he was like are you ready for this are you ready for what you would have what you are going to be having to do and my foolish self i was like yeah i'm ready i'm gonna be a light to this world not knowing that we will we were not realizing that we were gonna have some things that will come that will come towards us where I should have left. Where if you would have looked at the situation, you would have been like, "Oh no, those red flags. You need to go." But but I pray, and I'm a woman of faith, and I and every time I would pray, the Holy Spirit would literally tell me to stay, to stay and work. And the thing is, when you stay and you work it out, you have to change too. I have to admit, I have I have many flaws and things of that nature that was wrong with me, and I had to watch how I speak to him, watch how I talk to him, and everything. Come on. And that Come wasn't, on. and that wasn't, um, and that had nothing to do with oh, you just let him control you, or this, that, or the third. Because it was one point I made more money than my husband, right? And how how you gonna let him tell you what to do? Cause he my man. And I love Come on. You and, him. What he, and if he got me if he gets mad at if if you get mad, I don't stay with you. I stay with this one. Come on. And so on. when people have yeah. to realize that your but man who? is your man, right? Your pastor ain't your man, but your man <laughs> is your man. I have to learn that in later in our marriage. However, once I've learned that, and I I try to tell women now, and my husband always encouraged me now to even, like, speak more. Like, I talk a lot about marketing and investing and things of that nature, but he's like, babe, you have to begin to tell the women something. So even being on here tonight, guys, thank y'all so much. Hey, of so course. Thank you. Thank you. So basically what you're saying is red flags and always red flags. Sometimes it's just the GPS coordination to get to where you need to go. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> I, I like that. Yeah. Hey, that's it. I'm trying to tell you, man. But let's well, 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 know. Well, she, well. Did, she, she spoke on his character first. Yeah, yes, yeah, she did. But she, she said, he, we do this. It she don't matter how many red flags it was on the plate. Yeah, yeah, I love honest. it. I do I want to say it. And it's what the most awesome. important thing is, she kept people out their business. It's my man. Stay out of my business. That is, and you know what? I meant to raise that up. Because you'll see people will dog oh. the relationship and still be in it. But you nobody told you about how they made up. Nobody told you about any of that. So you come up there and you're putting out negative stuff about your relationship consistently, consistently, consistently. And the only thing it's going to do, because it's not your relationship, it's theirs. When you come back to them, they're going to throw everything back to you. Like that was the only thing that there ever was in that relationship. Well, listen, I, but, but we're grateful for that because we had to go through it. We had to, mm -hmm. like you don't like when I was saying that you don't get 15 year results in the first year, I meant that. And, and the reason why God gives us hardships so that we can pass this along. So people, because everybody ain't got, ain't got the strength like we had. So we have to go through this. We have to have family members saying stuff. We have to have friends saying stuff. That were people telling her she could have done better than me. Come on, come on. Now, now, I, now, now what? My, my, the devil, my, my, come on, man. They said, they said she could do better than me. And, 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 come and on. I'm humble enough to say maybe she could have. But I'm at a place in my life where I, I've out earned all of them. Man, Most of them, their relationships ain't together. Talk that now, talk. And, talk and that we talk. still together. And I'm and I'm not and I'm not and I'm not bragging. I'm just saying I serve a good God who knows how to keep you together. And, and, right. and, and, and when people think that it won't work, if God's hand is on what you have, I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what people say. At all. I don't care if y'all want to walk away. Preach. If God's hand is on what you have. God will make sure he'll make it work. You preaching today, Doc. So I'm Get to the point that you walk away from that, you turn away from God, too. But you, but my, you know, wife, you know? my wife is my friend. And the reason why it's easy for me to stay with my, my, my wife is because when I don't like my wife, I will always love my friend. And I have That's learned that I can fall out of like with her. I might not feel her one day, but I will love her until I like her again. And mm -hmm. she'll love me until she likes me again. This is what relate. Don't listen. Don't we get into it? Like we get. Don't get me wrong. Lady Hell cuss. 
the, don't get this twisted. She knows oh, the law. Oh, my God. I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> she, was, she was slipping uh -oh. at Matthew 7 uh -oh. and 10 and then and cut you out at the same time. But here's but his thing. <laughs> I, I wouldn't be where I'm at without a woman like her. And I think that that's what we have to get to the place where God doesn't call us to be perfect. He calls you how you are. And there was something that she needs that I appreciate. And so I got to protect that woman. I'm not just, I don't provide for her just be, to say I do it. I do it because I realize the gift she is to me. And, I, and it will not be said that I, I, I went through this life thanking God for who she is. And I did not do my best to make sure I took care of her and I appreciated it. How dare me take better care of my truck then I take care of my wife. Come, close this laptop. Close this laptop. I keep my truck shine. I keep my tire shine. I keep it vacuumed. I keep the oil changed. I keep full covered insurance. Wow. How dare me treat my truck better than my wife? I can get oh. another truck. I can get another talk hell. Come on. Better treat and her that's like just the whole truth. child of God. Come on. So if the advice I would give you is find somebody who can be your friend. My wife went to the library with me and it, it, almost, it almost brings me to tears because I didn't grow up the, the most attractive guy. I did not grow up, I had acne and I, I was talked about and people said I was a dropout and I was a failure. And that broke me for a while, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes it brings me to tears. And part of the reason why I started working out and I got you know swole is because I just got humiliated. And for my wife to love me and see something in me and stick with me, I honor that. I honor that, and she means something to me for that. So, if you if you go, if you looking for somebody, those of you who are watching, find somebody you can be a friend with. If y'all can be friends, y'all can be something else. So that, that I'm answering your question, Lance. That friend thing is a boy that'll kill. That'll yes, make it a break it right there. And you know what though, man, I I, I feel like this here because like I said, I know you know I talk a lot of crap, but I, but on a serious tip, all jokes aside, um, I feel like. In this day and time, you know, Sir Hill, a lot of people, women and men, um, they're they quit too soon. You know, um, I think that if you're in a relationship and and you love someone, I think love and commitment is staying power. And those one of the things that I learned from old school relationships and seeing my grandmother, and my grandfather. Uh, be married for 60 plus years and you ask them what's the staying power why didn't you leave granddaddy when he was drinking and out in them streets and doing all this stupid stuff and my grandmother said the same thing you say the very thing that we're missing right now because I'll say this and I'll get back in the other night on the show I bring up Bible the first thing they say is oh we tired of hearing about the Bible right but then the foundation of everything needs to start with God absolutely and when you don't have that foundation your house is not built on concrete it's built on sand and so a lot of people individuals are built on sand and those are the people that i go after all the time when you're built on sand and you cannot stabilize you cannot be stable you cannot have anything solid if you're built on sand and so a lot of relationships absolutely. are built on sand a lot of uh individualism is built on sand a lot of motherhoods are built on sand a lot of fatherhood. So you can go down the whole list of things here that's built on sand. And we have to be able to realize that, like you said, you got to find your friend. You got to find someone that you, that cares for you. And you got to and you got to be willing to have those arguments and then make up from those arguments. But in the time we live in now, the modern world, a woman gets mad at a man now. A man gets mad at a woman. They won't talk to each other for three weeks. They'll talk to the phone now. Right. Yeah. They, they'll, they'll, this is what they'll be doing. This right here, this right here, I love it, love technology, but this right here is the devil. This is the this is a divorce. This 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 right here will get you divorced. This this thing right, this little thing will get you divorced. It will get you uh, it'll, it'll get you in trouble. And so you, I I just I love you guys. You guys, marriage is an, a huge example of what the world needs to look like, and it helps me. And I know it helps a lot of these other guys on the on here to have you speak yeah. those things into existence for everybody that's here tonight. And I think Talk Hell, I thank you. I think Sir Hell, you guys are amazing. You could I can listen to you guys talk all night. Um, and so oh, we need to we needed some new Obamas. Come on through. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we need oh, hey, Come on. Can and I so, say something as well? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Black man, thank you, man. Like I've been following you for a little bit. I saw you on the Lapeep side. I'm like this. 
I mean, he's funny, but if you listen to what he's saying, he got some depth to him. Man, you gotta uh, your your call is unique, man. Like, cause you you you, you it's like you you a bishop, but you're not like the regular bishop who got the cloak on. Now, I didn't even say robe. I said you you ain't got the cloak on, right? But man, your ability to to reach people and see the truth in a way that I can just freaking be myself without having to put on a church face. That is what the world needs. I listen. This is gonna sound terrible. I, I'm I'm part of, of clergy. I don't like people who can't say what they what they mean the way that's authentic to them. And yes. black man unfiltered is true to your name, man. So thank you for what you do, uh, for how you present. Uh, like just just seeing you, like you didn't always follow me, but I, I'm like I gotta follow this man page. I followed you when you were at 146 followers. That's that's right, how right. deep this is. Right, and, right, uh, right, right. I appreciate what you're doing, man, and, to, and Lance as well. Man, you shot, man. Like, it's, 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 I'm like, dang, he, I, I was trying to disagree earlier, but the more I listen, I'm like, hello. You, you I know, shot, man. I, I, I come from, I, I come from a different angle, but it's the truth all the time. I tell you that. It, and that's, that, that's, honestly, it's Joe, balanced. too. I mean, we work together. I mean, this man, I, I watched him walk into the office and everything would change. And there's not a lot of people that have that effect without saying a lot. And there's not a lot of people that can continue to have that effect even after they open their mouth because usually they're going to say something that's going to be disagreeable that somebody's going to try to have some type of some type of uh ignorant you know comparison to and when it comes down to it no matter what joe says that i do or do not disagree with disagree with him on he is always going to come through and he's always going to speak truth and he's always going to be genuine and that's not really something that you can super rely on people from nowadays. And I'm glad that he has opened up this platform to people of all types yeah. so that we can all learn from each other and he can pull in too. Because I mean,